is Gabriel Castro from ExoticWoodPen.com. In one of my videos, I had a, a part two video of my acrylic dust hood table saw uh, dust collection. Um, anyway, um, actually blade dust collection. I removed it for clarity because I had a viewer ask about what this was right here. What was the 45? So this is my makeshift miter gauge. At, uh, I can get three different angles at one time. And uh, my normal miter gauge that I always used was was this, you know, um, was a, a makeshift one off of the miter gauge fence. And you can see the, the one here for 30, 45, and 90. And the one for 30 is actually a pretty severe angle. That's 45. Sorry, I'm using my phone. And you can see the angle is pretty severe. Of an angle, and that's the, the 30 degrees. Well, I use that one quite a bit as well as the 45. So let me pull this off here. When I'm, let me set that aside. So without having to use that on one side of my blade, on the, on the right side of the blade, I have this set for 30 degrees. And and also, if I'm cutting at 30, and then I need a quick 90. I'm already set up for 90 degrees. You can see how that's made. Oops, sorry. And that goes all the way through front to back. This is just a piece of uh, quarter inch hardboard. It's got a rail on the bottom. And uh, that's probably about a foot or so wide. It's just long enough to fit on both sides of the blade. Nothing terribly sophisticated. Um, I started with an oversized piece of hardboard and uh, put this in at 90 degrees first and then measured my my 45s after I got my gap that I wanted over here so I'm over here on zero on 45 so I'm right up to the edge of the blade and over here I'm at 90 right up to the edge of the blade on each side um, this is uh, I use this one quite a bit instead of using the miter gauge which I have to adjust back and forth for each cut very effective but, and then also on the same token, this is the same sort of a setup, quarter inch hardboard, guide on the bottom, and uh, this is just a quick, this is set up for 45, and you'll see that there was an angle right here, so if I were to adjust my blade, oh, let me see here, I'm on the wrong side of the table saw. I think I would know my own table saw by now. So if I adjust, I'll loosen up that handle. So, so here I am adjusting the blade. So if I was gonna make a lot of sled cuts at 45, repetitive cuts over and over, which I've done in the past, small, small pieces, you know, this works out quite nicely for. Crank that up so you can see the, the blade. Sorry, it's a little shaky. It's very impromptu. Um, that goes on right there. So that's it. That's a 45 degree, 90 degree. Now you could do this with compound angles as well. Um, that's for the one side. If you wanted to go back to the other side, um, this side over here, I didn't allow back to 90 because. Um, I just didn't go for it because that's why I have the other sled. So anyway, I uh, hope that sort of helps. Um, any questions, you can pose more questions and I'll answer those or change a video if you need. All right, have a good day. Thanks for watching.